What's up, y'all? Mr. Flip Flop. So, the strip is dead. The sewer's over. The sewer's dead. You know what I'm saying? So, I remember years ago, I made a video talking about the sewer timeline and how you move around in Sasua. So I see I gotta do that again. Cause here's the thing, whether the strip opens back up or not, is still alive and well. So stay tuned for some tips. I'm gonna show you guys how to move around without that 150 yards of uh, territory. Stay tuned to the end of this video for some tips. So if Sasua, the strip opens back up or not, I'm gonna show you guys how to move. All right, so stay tuned. Hey, you see where they at? You see them YouTubers? You saw those YouTubers? I ain't seen none of the YouTubers. I ain't seen them either. All right, thank you. I'm going up top. I ain't seen the, he ain't seen the YouTubers. I ain't seen them either. <laughs> Welcome to Flip Flop. <laughs> What's up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. So before I get this video started, I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share the video, and hit that notification button so you guys know when I'm going live and know when I'm posting these videos. All right, got a lot of stuff for you guys. So here we go, Sasua 101. As I said, for all you guys that are afraid to come to Sasua, afraid to move around without the strip, here goes the, the, the information you need to show you how to move. And stay tuned, I got more tips at the end of the video. So first, daytime action. When you wake up, go hit your favorite breakfast spot. Hopefully it's flip-flop for the uh, grits and eggs or the fish and grits. Uh, but wherever your favorite breakfast spot is, go hit your favorite breakfast spot. Get your belly full. Get your day started. Maybe get you a Dominican breakfast with a beer. Uh, Cuba Libre to start your day. Have you start your day. But hit your favorite breakfast spot, wherever that may be in Sasua. You know where it is. So hit your favorite breakfast spot. Get your day started. The ops are out there. They're out there all day, all night long. And you know who I'm talking about when I say the ops. So... Then choose you a nice bar or restaurant to hang out at, even if it's your favorite breakfast spot, and uh, hang out. The ops are walking around at all times. You know, you can see them all day long without that 150 yards of uh, strip. They're outside. Excuse me. So also, if you want to hit the beach, well, the beach is great for daytime action. The beach is rocking from 10 a.m. to 6, 7 p.m. whenever the lights go off. So if you want to hit the beach, the ops are always walking around the town and on the beach. So you have opportunities to link up on the beach as well, you know, without that 150 yards of strip. This is what this video is about, showing you guys how to move. I know a lot of people don't know how to move because they know nothing but that strip, but I can show you how to do this. Now, this is free game, but next is, you know, you got to get with the Paradise Life group, you know, so we can show you how to really move rather than being all scared. So here we go. As I said, the beach. Now, for the late night action, for the nightlife in Sasua, you have the casino, Playa Chiquita, all the way down. The old casino, after one, actually opened up. I haven't been over there. I haven't seen nobody really go over there. Um, so I can't speak on it, but it is open. Um, New York, Envy has some things going on down at their hotel. New York City Drink has some things going on right by Envy. Just so you guys know. Down that way really doesn't get popping off till about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. So you really want to focus on the daytime action, ops running around the town, different bars here and there. So the nightlife action down that way, probably like say 9, 30, 10 o'clock if you want to go down that way. During the daytime, I don't think there's much down there, in my opinion. You can check it out, but I don't see much going on down there. And that basically is your point and click that you guys needed when you were on the strip. You know, you wanted to see the ops all in front of you. At the nightlife down that way is where you can still do it at and still feel comfortable with that 150 yards of strip. Now, as far as prices of drinks and all that other stuff, I can't speak on that. I'm just telling you where the ops are at at certain times in the day and night. You have to discuss those drink prices 
or whatever spot you go to, you know. But also, as you make your way down there, all the small mom and pop bars and restaurants along that route to the other side of Sasua are all open and very lively. A couple of, couple of, couple of Paradise Life dudes, we done popped in and out. Uh, Cuckoo Bar, Europa, just to name a few. And they're all lively. There's a lot of ops sitting in these bars hanging out because they don't want to go down that side of the street. Okay, so you can pop in a little, you know, bar hop. The little mom and pop joints, uh, Four Roses, all them little joints that are just sitting there. Looks like they only have about six, seven seats or ten seats, but they're there and you can pop your head in and out and get a drink and you're going to find some ops sitting there at all times. Now, ladies, I'm sorry, this is for the fellas because the fellas get all scared when, you know, they hear the strippers close, but you ladies know how to move on your own. So I'm sure this video does not really apply to you. Um, so basically, like I said, the nightlife doesn't start down that end until 9, 30, 10 at the earliest, I believe, at the earliest. So find you a favorite dinner spot. Get you a dinner spot post up. Ops are still walking around at all times. I mean, I'm outside. So the ops are all walking around at all times, you know, here and there. They're just not on that main 150 yards of territory. You know, now, during the daytime, if you want to experience something, hit Porta Plata, hit Cabarete. You have many places you can hit. Go do some sightseeing, do some fishing, do some uh, four wheeling. You know what I'm saying? Post up at the villa, do a barbecue. Ops are always available. They're always around. If you have to have ops, they're there. Um, for me, I party a lot in Porta Plata. So if you want to see a different nightlife, hit a Porta Plata. Tons of clubs and bars in Porta Plata to pop your head in and you know, do what you do. Now, for those with the point and click mentality, I'm sorry, you have to actually talk a little bit. There is some point and click going on in Porta Plata, I won't deny that, but you have to sit there and say hello, send somebody a bid, do a little talking, you know. Same situation, you just got to open your mouth a little bit. So, like I said, if you get bored in Sassua, you can go hit up some spots in Porta Plata and Cabaret thing. There's so much to do. As I said, Sassua is just a one town, but there's actually a lot of bars and, and restaurants and nooks and crannies in Sasua you guys don't know about, and I won't promote them, but take a walk around and you'll find a lot of little bars you can bar hop. Trust me, I was bar hopping with Polo and Ryan recently at Paradise Life, and we were in and out of a bunch of bars before we even got to that side of it. We, we were pretty much drunk before we got down that side of the road, you know, so there's lots of places you can pop in and out. Ops are always around. Now, here is the tip. The biggest tip I can give you guys. There's two things you can do, well, a few things you can do to really enhance your trip. This is the day of modern technology. This is the day where, I'm not, I'm not going to be disrespectful, but a lame, anybody who has internet can get online, get rejected or not get rejected, and get them a fine woman. It is what it is. I'm kind of jealous because I need face-to-face -face contact. I need to be able to talk and spit my ish. But you can get on WhatsApp, get numbers. You can pipeline before you come down on your trip. You can have your whole trip set up, which most guys do, before you even get down here. You can use Tinder. You can use Baidu. You can use Facebook. There's a lot of things you can use so you don't have to worry about 155 yard, 150 yards of strip. Now, this is just in case the strip never opens up again. I'm trying to help you out. Sasua is still Sasua. Everybody who come down, I mean, I've only heard a few people complain because those are the point and click guys that can't do anything but sit there and point and click. And there's no knock on that. I'm not knocking anybody. But there's so much more you can do. So you can pipeline. You can Facebook. You can Tinder. You can Baidu. You can tag. However you want to do it. But it's available. I go on Tinder right now. I'm going to pull up about 50, 50 60 more mofos in this, in this area. You know, so basically... For those that are so scared that Sasu is dead, as far as I see, it's still going on. It's dead for the dude who don't know how to open his mouth or don't know how to communicate. Yes, I would agree with that. It's dead for the dude that needs that one block because all of us who've been here over 10 years, we saw it move from section to section. You know, before I got here, the strip was down by High Caribbean and Europa. So, you know, go with the changes. And like I said, this video is for the current situation of Sasu. Sasu 101. If you can't move around, I'm here to help you move around. That's the free game right there. Everything else you got to get with Paradise Life because we a movement. We showing people how to move because we know how to move. I've put people together because, you know, okay, you over there, you over there, get together, let's move. You know, so there's so much you can do. So Suo 101, this was Mr. Flip Flop. Hit me up on the email. 
Hit us up on our Instagram, Paradise Life Instagram, Mr. Flip Flop Instagram. Love all you guys. Still trying to get my voice back. I don't know what the hell's going on. As you guys see, the sun is coming up all in my face, and I'm shining, son. Y'all be good. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out.